What causes belly fat? The six foods that cause belly fat to accumulate. Belly fat accumulates when excess fat in the liver spills over and begins to encase your organs. This visceral fat poses health risks as it disrupts the functioning of vital organs like the heart, pancreas, intestines, and gallbladder. The more visceral fat you have, the greater the risk of developing conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, circulation issues, and systemic inflammation. Visceral fat is also biologically active, releasing cytokines that cause inflammation, which damages your cells and contributes to insulin resistance, making future weight loss more challenging. Belly fat often results from a high-carb diet, especially one rich in sugar, starch, or fructose. It can also be triggered by inflammatory foods that harm the liver, leading to fat accumulation. Elevated cortisol levels, the stress hormone, contribute to the buildup of visceral and subcutaneous fat around the belly. In this video, you'll discover the top six foods that cause visceral belly fat, so you can begin eliminating them from your diet. I'll also discuss how stress leads to belly fat and offer steps you can take to address it. Please remember, this video is for educational purposes only, so consult your doctor with any medical concerns. 1. Trans fats. Some of the most harmful foods that contribute to belly fat accumulation are hydrogenated oils, including soybean, corn, canola, cottonseed, sunflower oils, and margarine. These oils are commonly used in fast foods, takeout meals, and packaged foods found in supermarkets. Despite their name, vegetable oils, they are derived from heavily processed grains and involve toxic solvents and chemicals that can damage your liver cells. Additionally, they are high in omega-6 fatty acids, which promote inflammation throughout the body, leading to fat buildup in the liver that eventually spills over into your belly. For healthier cooking, opt for cold-pressed oils like avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil, and grass-fed butter. 2. Grains and flour. Starchy foods such as bread, cereals, biscuits, pasta, crackers, pastries, and donuts are packed with refined carbohydrates. These items rank high on the glycemic index, causing them to rapidly convert into sugar, glucose, in your bloodstream. Excess sugar is then transformed into fat and stored in your fat cells, particularly as visceral fat around your belly. Whole grains can have a similar effect, as they also contain phytic acid, which can interfere with the absorption of essential minerals like zinc, magnesium, and calcium. I recommend adopting a low-carb diet, such as keto, which helps to lower blood sugar levels and encourages the body to burn fat for energy. 3. Fructose. Fructose, a type of sugar present in fruit, constitutes 50% of table sugar and is also found in agave nectar and high fructose corn syrup, HFCS. Unlike glucose, which your cells use for energy, fructose is metabolized directly in the liver. With HFCS being a common ingredient in 80% of packaged foods, it puts excessive strain on your liver, leading to visceral fat accumulation, liver damage, and insulin resistance. Fructose affects the liver similarly to alcohol due to its metabolism process. By checking labels, you'll find fructose in soda, fruit juices, jams, syrups, sweets, and many junk foods. Additionally, HFCS is derived from GMO corn treated with chemical herbicides, adding further toxins that harm the liver and contribute to belly fat. To avoid these issues, choose snacks with healthier sweeteners and alternatives like erythritol, stevia, and monk fruit. 4. Soy Protein Isolates Soy protein isolates are among the most problematic food additives you can consume. These highly processed, low-cost plant proteins are derived from genetically modified soybeans treated with glyphosate, a harmful herbicide toxic to the liver. You'll find soy protein isolates in products like protein bars, diet shakes, ready meals, meat substitutes, and some baby formulas. Soy is known to contribute to hormonal imbalances in both men and women, leading to liver inflammation and abdominal weight gain. To avoid these issues, 
steer clear of soy protein isolates and opt for whole food proteins such as meat, eggs, fish, shellfish, and water lentils. 5. Soda drinks, diet and regular. As previously mentioned, regular sodas are sweetened with glucose and fructose, which can lead to fat accumulation around your stomach. However, even diet sodas can contribute to fat gain indirectly because they contain artificial sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose. These synthetic sweeteners can cross the blood-brain barrier and interfere with neurotransmitters that signal fullness, leading to increased hunger and a higher likelihood of snacking on unhealthy foods. Additionally, artificial sweeteners can disrupt the balance of beneficial gut microbes, which may result in liver damage, weight gain, depression, and anxiety. To avoid these issues, eliminate soda from your diet and opt for healthier alternatives. Try carbonated water with a few mashed berries and a touch of stevia for a refreshing and natural soda without added sugars or chemicals. 6. Alcoholic drinks. Regular consumption of alcoholic drinks significantly increases your likelihood of developing both visceral and subcutaneous fat. Alcohol places a substantial burden on the liver, which must break it down into smaller particles to detoxify it. Over time, this process damages liver cells, hepatocytes, leading to inflammation and impairing your body's ability to metabolize fat and sugar effectively. This can result in fatty liver disease, where fat accumulates within the liver until it overflows into the spaces between your organs, causing abdominal swelling. Additionally, the liver prioritizes burning alcohol over other fuels, so when combined with fructose, sugar, and grains, it can become overwhelmed, leading to fluid leakage that exacerbates belly enlargement, ascites. If you have a protruding belly, it's crucial to improve your diet to reduce the risk of diabetes, heart disease, and liver cancer in the future. Stress and cortisol. How stress causes belly fat. Now that you're aware of the foods to avoid for burning or preventing belly fat, it's crucial to understand how stress can also contribute to fat accumulation. When you're anxious, stressed, or fearful, your glands release cortisol, the stress hormone. This hormone converts proteins in your body into sugar to provide a burst of energy for fight or flight responses, a mechanism historically used for escaping predators like lions or tigers. However, the body isn't equipped to handle prolonged mental stress from modern issues like relationships, life situations, or financial worries. Chronic stress leads to sustained high levels of cortisol, which increases blood sugar levels. This triggers insulin, another hormone, to manage the excess sugar by converting it into body fat, particularly around the stomach. If you're maintaining a healthy diet but still struggling with weight loss, managing stress and reducing cortisol is essential. To help reduce stress, consider walking in nature for at least 45 minutes daily. Fresh air and sunlight can calm your nervous system and deactivate the fight-or-flight response. Additionally, listening to slow, calming music with around 60 beats per minute BPM, can have a soothing effect on your body and lower cortisol levels. Guided meditations, which are available online, can also be beneficial. Finally, ensuring you get at least 8 hours of sleep each night is one of the most effective ways to manage stress. During REM sleep, your hormones rebalance and reset, which helps regulate stress and supports fat burning by increasing glucagon, a hormone that aids in fat metabolism. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.